Joining me now is Florida Senator Marco Rubio. Senator, now we don't have, which I always bemoan the fact that we don't have a Hispanic Rush Limbaugh. And I think George Soros in, uh, Investment Company bought up a lot of yeah, Spanish radio talk radio stations. So what can Trump do now? What should he do he, he, to capitalize on what is a trend? Well, first of all, he's already done it. First of all, that in interview, that segment's a lie. Uh, Trump doesn't talk bad about minorities or Hispanic. He talks bad about criminals. They, they may happen to be minorities, but they're criminals. He calls them what people in the Hispanic community call a member of a gang that mm -hmm. came here from Venezuela. These guys are gang members and they're criminals, not because they're Venezuelan, because they're criminals. Every society has criminals. If they're in the country illegally, it's insulting to the country, and that's what he points out. So the, I think that a couple things I would say. The first is, and I think this is being underestimated, the number of Hispanics that watch this program and this network and get their news from other sources is more than from Univision. Growing number of Hispanics do. I mean, and, 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 and that continues to be the case. We should do Hispanic language ads, though, correct? Well, so I, there's a segment of the audience that gets some of their entertainment in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Look, and, and, Spanish speaking and, ads would be great, though. Yeah, so, you know, people like these, these soap operas, for example, on Univision oh, that yes. are actually made in Turkey. Don't knock the soap operas. Well, but they're made in Turkey. Oh, some shocks. of them are made You're in ruining Brazil. ruining it for me. But they're, they're well done. So those ads are run in Spanish. And, and I think the message is look, what's happening in this country is the following. You see a great sorting out that's happening where working Americans, working class Americans that have working class values, that live life by common sense, whose minds have not been polluted and poisoned by some crazy professor in some left wing expensive university, are gravitating away the Democratic Party. They can't cohabitate with this party and they're becoming part of the Republican Party and Trump speaks to them. And their primary identity is not Hispanic. They may very well be proud to be Hispanic. Mm. They live Hispanic lifestyle. They listen to music. They eat the food. They follow the traditions and the culture. But they are working class Americans and they are voting increasingly indistinguishable from all working class Americans. People that are tired of seeing their jobs being sent to China are tired of our country being flooded from people all over the world, including many, many criminals and potentially terrorists as well. And I think Trump needs to continue to appeal to that and has done so very successfully. And that's why that number is collapsing for Biden. You mentioned something um, before we came on about the crisis among boys yes. in the United States and this push to redefine masculinity or feminize masculinity, which I've had a chance to talk to some of my Hispanic friends in Texas. They recoil at that. They, they find that to be insulting. And, and a horrific trend for young men. Do you think that might be some of this? Th that's embedded in the whole working class values. Uh -huh. And it's this demonization of every attribute that is a male attribute from the time that little boys is demonized. I, I mean, little, if you look at what's described as a good student, as someone who's quiet, as someone who listens to instruction all the time, that's not boys. I mean, bo boys are rambunctious, they're loud, they move around. It is a natural thing. It can't be destructive. But, but it's a natural thing, and all of those things are under attack in mass media, in education, and across society. And I do think people uh, resent that. And again, if you're a working class family, whether you're Hispanic or your parents came from Sweden, whatever you, you may be. You can't make it today. You, you can't put money away. You're struggling, but your values, yeah. the values you've built your entire life around are constantly under attack by Democrats, by the left, by these radicals. You've been terrific on the issue of China. A lot of you have looked, um, a lot of people have looked to you to leadership on this issue. What is the latest on this TikTok forcing China to um, separate its ownership from TikTok in the Senate now that the House? Bill well, passed? the latest is they've hired a lot of people that used to work in the Senate as lobbyists. They've hired everyone you big can imagine. Big money, Marco. Big mo and, and there's all the money's on that side of the argument. But this is a very simple thing, okay? TikTok's algorithm, which controls the, the, the entire app, is built by this algorithm. It, not only does it belong to a Chinese company, it belongs to a company that has to do whatever the Chinese Communist Party tells them to do. So, for example, in a time of crisis, if China decides we're going to invade Taiwan, we're going to go to war with America, they will weaponize that against us. And ByteDance that owns it can't say anything about it. That is what we're aiming at. We have to divest ByteDance from TikTok. What do you think is going to happen in the Senate? I hope we can get it passed. I think if you put it up to a vote, it would pass. But the real impediment here is procedural. Because it has to go through the Commerce Committee. The chairwoman of the Commerce Committee, Mayor Cantwell, has expressed skepticism Can't about do. the bill. Can't do. Cantwell. Well, yeah. I hope she'll change her mind on it. I know a lot of people out there working to try to kill it, and they're advertising. Like, I mean, the yeah. ads, I don't think they're yeah. influential ads, but nonetheless, it's an uphill climb, but it's something that needs to happen. TikTok's just about veterans and dogs, and that's all it is, Senator. Nothing else, nothing else is in it. <laughs> well, we, we're going to keep following this, and uh, thank you for what you're saying about young men. I think that's something we have Absolutely. to stick to uh, in our culture. Thank you.